Mr. Call here. So prior to this week, I shot and uploaded a video talking about uh, progress check for Form 4 Biology students. Yeah. Um, so I decided to do one for Form 5 as well. Okay. Uh, so the, the, the two comments I got from that video is to do with the car. Alright, I mean it's fine, like, it's perfectly fine. Um, my my close students know that I quite like cars like, actually so I mean everyone have their own interests their own passion mine is definitely a little bit on cars like. mine is a little bit on cars okay so so it doesn't matter what I feel that it doesn't matter what car I'm in my my main focus is to to actually share whatever I think is important to you guys at that particular point in time, right? So, okay, so for Form 5 students, uh, uh, today is the, the 6th of June, 6-6 six, six today, it's a good number, and I'm starting, and, and so coincidentally, uh, I'm starting uh, Form 4, BAP 6, as well as Form 5, Chapter 6, okay? The thing is, uh, to Form 5 students, uh, there are a lot of rumours whereby SPM might start in the month of December, okay? SPM might start in the month of December. The thing is, it's not really a problem. Guys, it's not, it's a non-issue. Guys, it's a non-issue uh, simply because, you see, if you look at beginning of the year, I mean, if you are aware lah, huh, if you were aware of the Jadwal SPM, uh, in the month of January was when we had the three Amali, Biophysics and Chemistry, okay? Biophysics and Chemistry, we had all the three Amali. Then, yeah, I think three weeks later, because, because Amali was the last week of January, 2000, 23 okay for the 2022 batch uh, your 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 seniors batch uh. in fact they're getting results the day after tomorrow yeah they're getting results the day after tomorrow so if amali uh, i mean sorry if because amali was conducted at at the end of uh, january okay the bertulis uh, meaning your written papers BM, starting with BM, uh, after that will be Sejara, it's quite a standard schedule. Lah. So because they, they conducted the Amali during the last week of January, the Bertulis was, if I'm not mistaken again, the third or fourth week of February. Guys, the third or fourth week of February. So the thing is, you don't have to be overly concerned if Jadwal SPM Dual Revo Doplo Tiga, okay, your batches SPM, it begins in the month of December because they will sure start with Amali, guys. They will sure start with Amali. And assuming that Amali is in the month of December, I, I told my students that's really not a cause for concern because uh, Amali is totally not related to what you learn in terms of. Uh, your paper one and two. That, that, there's no relationship, lah. Come on. For example, uh, bio the first year, what came out was the CPIP. Okay, what came out the first year, which is batch two o two one, was the CPIP. So, guys, how often do you see vitamin C? DCPIP solution experiment in paper 2. Yeah, normally if they were to ask would be probably one structure question. That is if they ask, but chances are it, it like won't come out at all. Okay, maybe there might be one objective on DCPIP. So my point is if SPM were to begin in December, definitely is Amali. Then probably, guys, uh, probably your birthday list will be end of January. 
end of January instead of uh, like your senior special uh, end of February because as you all know they want to switch back to the usual January to December calendar academic calendar so definitely there, there will be some uh, changes needed for for your batch and the coming batch in order for them to switch back to the usual January to December schedule lah. so talking about uh, talking about bio right currently you should be around chapter 5 because I started my lessons in the month of uh, February so in school in school you should be you should be in around chapter 5 lah, probably beginning of 5 or in the middle of chapter 5 it doesn't matter it doesn't matter as long as you're in chapter 5 you should be fine uh, because if you if you do a quick check guys if you do a very quick check so now it's 6th of June assuming this is one month on its own uh, okay June July August September October then some of you might might already know that your perjubaan is in the month of November so guys five months I give you six months I give you six months all right from from now all the way to end of November six months enam bulan eh? if you are currently in chapter five do you know how many topics you have left another eight correct because uh, from five sukatan there are a total of 13 topics so if you are currently in bar five you have another eight more topics to go yeah six months eight topics definitely is not enough because topics like uh, topics like chapter eight nine ten and eleven 8, 9, 10 and 11 This would take one and a half months each uh, I mean for my pace lah, For my pace lah, One and a half months each Okay Or maybe 8 and 9 lah, One month each uh, Chapter 10 would be One and a half months Yeah Then chapter 11 Definitely one and a half lah. But chapter 10 We can cut it to Probably uh, One month Slightly over so, so guys, uh, you have to roughly monitor your pace as well, all right. And I think most importantly, you shouldn't, guys, you shouldn't really start to push after you get the jadual SPM, because uh, if I'm not mistaken, last year they got the jadual quite late, as in they got the jadual SPM in the month of. December Guys, I think December They got it in the month of December If I'm not mistaken uh. November, December It was around Perchubaan time It's one thing that you absolutely shouldn't do Is to wait until the Jadwal SPM is out Then only you start to Study hard Okay Because, uh, you see, during my time During my time SPM Jadwal Jadwal SPM be released six to seven months prior to the actual SPM and since SPM is always in the month of SPM is always in the month of November so by around March or April we would have already gotten we would have already gotten the jadwal so I forgot whether it was 2020 or 2021 batch but either one of the years uh, the jadual they postponed twice due to MCO uh, the jadual SPM it was out then they res reschedule it twice you know yeah, because of MCO so what happened was last year uh, for them to play it a little bit safe for KPM to play it a little bit safe they announced it a bit later now to me there are pros and cons lah. of course the pros a little bit more so that you don't have to reschedule it again because you know that these are the number of COVID cases and we can definitely uh, move on with SPM without any problem so to me from KPM's point of view It's a good thing Guys, it's definitely a good thing But For students For students who Will only Work hard 
study hard after they see the jadual is a bad thing guys it's a very bad thing yeah because serious during my time the jadual would be out six seven months before SPM so we got ample time to prepare we got ample time to prepare yeah so if you're the type of student sir I'm gonna wait until the jadual SPM is out then I'm going to uh, print it out I'm gonna laminate it put beside my bed if you're that type of student I suggest you don't wait for jadual SPM you should start pushing now itself because if you look at it uh, I always scare my Form 5 students this way oh sorry I always motivate my Form 5 students this way for example next year today next year today is 6 of June 2024 you have another two more days before getting your results guys I call it a motivation in class uh, but but um it always backfires, like it doesn't work. <laughs> but my students say that I'm actually torturing them more than motivating them. So guys, I, I, I keep on doing it. I actually keep on doing it. Alright. The, the, the reason is to let them be aware, like, number one, of what's to come. Number two is, you know, sometimes online classes can be a little bit um, tiring, with the more so with the weather nowadays. So I, I try to create a little bit of excitement to, to, to keep students' attention intact, you see. So guys, never before the jadual, start to plan way beforehand, okay? Start to plan way beforehand. Okay, so I think that's about it. Uh, I'm actually going for a meeting. My meeting is in an appointment, uh, an appointment. Uh. My meeting is in Starlink today. Okay, guys, so that's all for today. I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.